Yeah, the soul, the cold. I got it. How you gon' survive if I leave full of hoes? Huh? The pounds, the tons, the white, the keys. Can't nobody tell me I ain't living like a G. Peace, peace, y'all. What's the word, man? You already know what time it is. You know what it is, and you definitely know who it is, man. That's your main man, Hood, and all that. And you are now rocking with the kid on another episode of Hip Hop with Hood, where we discuss everything hip hop. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for your boy, and let's get right into it. So before I go any further, let's just let me say this. I know I've been MIA, I haven't been dropping no vlogs, and I know all of my subscribers and supporters are probably like, yo, where the hell is her at? Where he been at? Why is he not dropping no vlogs? What the hell is going on? And I have no real answer to that besides the fact that I've been you know, tending to other business and I've been kind of tied up, but I'm back. And I definitely appreciate uh, the patience from you guys and all the support. So salute to everybody who've been patiently waiting and that still supports the kid, all right? So with that being said, let's get right into today's topic, man. This is something that needs to be spoken about because it's hot off the press and everybody's talking about it right now, right? Now, what I'm talking about is uh, a verse that Kendrick Lamar just dropped on Future and Metro Boomin's new track, right? Now, in this track, he took shots at a few different people. And to be specific, those people that he took shots at are Drake and J. Cole. Now, just like any other track, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they feel differently about it. Like I said, everyone's talking about it. Everyone on the internet and everyone on the street. But, um, you know, some people are crazy about the diss and other people aren't too thrilled about it and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm one of those people that aren't too thrilled about it you know like to me personally i think it's you know what i'm saying it ain't nothing crazy man um and and i like kendrick no rainbow but like i said it's um people going crazy about it. oh my god he flamed j cole he flamed drake i wonder what drake and cole are gonna say now and all this other stuff but i Man, it wasn't that deep to me. You know what I mean? Like, it's all right. I can't really get with the... Like, I ain't... I, I can't really get into that. I'm not going to lie to you. But um, it's said to be a response to the subliminals that Cole and Drake was throwing at him on their track on, um, on Drake's album. When it comes to albums, Kendrick probably makes the best albums out of those three. Some people may agree with me and some people may disagree. But like I said... He may make the best albums out of them. It's not no uh, for sure guaranteed thing, but you know he. It's a possibility that he very well could make better albums than the rest of the two. But as an artist, I rock with Cole. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm anxious to see if Cole responds because we all know how Cole give it up. Drake, not so much. But uh. I want to know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you think. How you feel about this, 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 and these, these shots that Kendrick threw? Y'all feeling it or y'all not feeling it? Are people uh, going overboard and overpraising it or is the praise uh, warranted? You know what I mean? Like, let me know you guys' thoughts. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Click the link under this video and check out my mixtape. Remember the name, too. My new album will be out soon entitled Joshua Hood. So be on the lookout. Listen, man, like I said, again, I appreciate you guys, man. Salute to every last one of y'all.